Alright guys, welcome back to another video and it is April 1st so that means it is time to go through my top 5 albums that came out during March. Um, and before we get into this, I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe as I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers. So that would mean a ton. But anyways, just getting straight into it here at number 5. I have the new Faye Webster album, Under Just at the Symphony. I think it was pretty good. It wasn't like mind blowing to me or anything like that, but there's some nice songs on here and it's overall a pretty fun lesson. So if you haven't checked that one out, I definitely suggest uh, going to listen to that one. Uh, the, four, uh, the number four spot here, I have Cowboy Carter by Beyonce. Now, I've never been a huge Beyonce fan. Like her music is very good. I've just never really gotten fully into it. But I checked this album out. It was a pretty good listen. Um, I was expecting a little more country, and there definitely is some like country in there, but it's definitely not just a country album. So if you've been staying away from this album, because I know country gets a lot of hate, so if you've been staying away from this album because you think it's gonna be heavy on the country, um, I would say um, check it out. It's a good record and it's not just straight country. There's a lot of pop in there and you get some old Beyonce like um, in there as well. So definitely consider going to listen to that one. And at the number three spot, I have We Don't Trust You uh, with Future and Metro Boomin. I've never been a huge Future fan either, to be honest. So this is another album that it was really um, hyped up going into it. But I don't know, I never really cared about it, but gave it a listen. There's definitely some bangers on this track. There's also some points during the album where it was like kind of hard to listen to, not because it's bad, just because like, I don't know, it's just Future, who I'm not a huge fan of rapping over like a basic Metro Boomin' beat, right? Like there was nothing too crazy being done on some of these songs. But on the other hand, there's some of these songs that are like real bangers and they've been in my rotation for um, since it dropped. And I mean, obviously the Kendrick verse has sparked a lot of controversy starting the whole beef, like the rap civil war. But anyway, overall still a good listen. So if you're into that rap and trap, I'm sure you've already heard it. And if you haven't, I mean, go listen to it. It's a solid record. But at the number two, I have Eternal Sunshine by Ariana Grande. It's a nice little 13 track pop album from Ariana Grande. And I really liked it. Ariana, I've never really listened to her, like, ever, to be honest. Like, obviously, I've heard her, like, mainstream hits, right? But never really listened to one of her albums front to back. So I checked this one out. And I was surprised. I really liked it. So um, if you like that pop sound, I mean, go check it out. I, um, I thought it was really strong. And the number one album, in my opinion, from March is Blue Lips by Schoolboy Q. I thought this album was great. Um, there's no real filler. There's a couple tracks that are a little bit weaker, but like overall, just really sol solid album. It's been in my rotation here um, since it dropped at the beginning of the month. And um, yeah, that's what I got from my top five albums of March. So leave a comment. Let me know some albums you've been listening to that came out this month that are not on my list. And um, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.